and welcome to the fifth installment of Music Lessons the Easy Way. Today we're going to talk about seventh chords and this is one of my favorite lessons because seventh chords is when things start to get interesting. Um, seventh chords are mainly utilized in jazz. That's pretty much where they started. I mean uh, they had them in classical music, you know, Beethoven, Mozart, all those guys used them, but um, they became very predominant um, when jazz came about in the early 1900s, late 1800s. And they're still used to this day in all the different music we hear, right? So a seventh chord is basically just a triad, kind of like the C major chord we used in the last lesson, with an extra note on top, the seventh. So if you think about this, from a C major scale. The major seventh chord starts with the root note, which is the first note, and then the third, the fifth, and the seventh. And listen to that sound. Very pleasing, very pretty sound, right? Um, and you might think, well, how do we define that? Is that a happy or a sad chord? Well, it's kind of both, because if you think about it, it's a C major triad overlapped with an E minor triad. So they're played all together, and we get this really pretty chord, right? The C major seventh chord. All right. So let's try to find uh, the half step pattern for the C major seventh chord. So we start from C, up four half steps, a major third, up three half steps, minor third, and then up four half steps, a major third. So it's a major, minor, and then a major third to build that chord. Or four, three, four. It's an easier way of looking at it. Right? So let's find some more. How about B major seven? So we're going to go up four, three, four. All right. And also, if you know your B major scale, it's the root, third, fifth, and the seventh. B major seven. All right. Very pretty, very pretty chord. One of my favorites, for sure. Let's try to find one from a black key. We'll start from E flat. Up four, three, four. There we go. All right, now we're going to move on to the dominant seventh chord. All right, this is really the most important seventh chord you're ever going to play. This is the most utilized chord. And basically, it's just a major seventh chord, but the seven is flat or lowered a half step. And you listen to that, it sounds kind of goofy, right? But this is the most commonly utilized chord in the blues. And it's used all over the jazz world as well, right? And we also hear this in every other genre of music. And also in classical music, the, the dominant seventh chord is utilized a lot. And so the difference between this and the C major seventh chord, when we talk about it as musicians, this is C major seven, but this is just C seven, right? So if you don't see anything in the chord symbol between the root and the seven, you know that it's a dominant seventh chord. All right, so the half step pattern for this is a major third, four half steps, then a minor third, three half steps, and then another minor third, three half steps. So four, three, three will give us a dominant seventh chord, or in this case, C7. Let's try E7. Four, three, Three. There we go. We get that goofy sound again, right? And how about uh, A flat seven? A flat four, three, three. Now it's also a very tense chord because between the third and the seven, we get something we talked about in I think the second lesson called the tritone, right? And that creates a lot of tension and we're going to see once we start talking about chord progressions that tension is very useful because it's going to be resolved in the chord that follows it 
So we'll talk about that later. So now we know major seven and dominant seven. The only other one that's really important to know is the minor seven. All right. So if we take a minor scale, like C minor, and we take the root and the third, and the fifth, and the seven, now we have C minor seven. All right. So half step pattern for that, we have three minor third, and then four major third, and then three minor third. So three, four, three will give you a minor seventh chord. Now, you can imagine there are a lot of other possibilities here, right? You, you know, switching up the threes and the fours. Right? It's not just these three, but these are the three most commonly utilized chords. So we're going to continue on to the other ones, but as long as you have those three, you'll be pretty set for most of the stuff we have to play. All right, so what about three, four, four? Check that out. That would be called a, a minor major seven chord. So it's a minor triad, but it's got a major seven on top. All right, really spooky. This is kind of what you hear in those uh, spy movies from a long time ago. Or uh, the detective movies. All right. All right. What else? We have minor seven flat five, also called the half diminished seven chord. And this is a three, three, four pattern. All right. We're also going to use that a lot uh, once we start talking about some other more advanced jazz chord progressions. All right. What about three, three, three? All right. That'll give us a diminished seventh chord. All right. Now, what if we did four, four, four? Four, four, four. Well, what we have here is just an augmented triad. There's no seven here because when we got that last four, it's the same as the first note. So it's really still just a triad in this case. All right. We can also do uh, four, four, three. And that would give us major seven augmented or sharp five chord and that's really a, a different kind of thing we're going to talk about alterations later on but be aware major seven sharp five is what we would call that typically All right. and we can also have a uh, augmented seventh chord and this one's a little different because we have four four two so this is also really just an alteration. This is C7 sharp five. All right. So that's pretty much all the seventh chords we're ever going to utilize. And the main thing to know is that C major seven, C dominant seven, or just C7, and C minor seven. Those three types of seventh chords are the ones we're going to utilize the most and especially in jazz and blues, rock, all that stuff. All right. So get very comfortable with learning these different chords and all 12 keys, right? You have to know all your major sevens all the way up and down the piano, right? All the minor sevens and all the dominant sevens. Uh, all right, so get really good at these. You wanna to try to learn them in both hands if you're a piano player. Um, but otherwise, if you're a guitar player, learn them um, in all the different ways. There's several different ways to play each of these chords on the guitar. Mm -hmm.